The Made in Heston West Bringing It All Together documentary is in memory of our dear friend and support, Maria Pedro. She was an, an inspiration and a much loved member of our community. We thank her for all she's done, helping and supporting members of our community. She'll be dearly missed. My name is Maria Pedro, Representative Deputy Lieutenant for the London Borough of Hounslow, and we're bringing it all together for the Heston West Big Local. One million pounds has been kindly invested by Big Local Trust to help our community grow and flourish in the next 10 years and beyond. The Big Local was given the green light by Local Trust in 2012 and officially started in 2015. Heston West Big Local is a partnership of local residents and local stakeholders. Members of the board have volunteered to steer the funding allocated to Heston West and we are currently supported by Barclay Academy. Our main objective of the Big Local is to help transform the look and feel of our community with health and well-being as our focus. In the past few years we've been involved in encouraging families, older residents and young people to get involved with an outcome of creating an effective support network, a culture of volunteering whilst reducing isolation. We are creating opportunities for local people to live happier lives, bringing it all together. Well, when I first um, started working with the, um, and being a volunteer at the Big Local, um, it was um, trying to engage the local people in the community to come along and participate in some of the activities that we had going. And um, in the beginning, you know, it was very, it, it took a long time to get the word out there from a number of years ago to now the change has been incredible we've got a lot of um, younger people joining in our projects and even running our projects which has been absolutely fantastic it's a warm place it's it helps the community and it builds your confidence and being involved with heston west big local has been really amazing it's been really nice i first got involved because of my duke of edinburgh but then I carried on because I enjoyed it so much. And meeting new people and communicating with a range of different age groups and not just people that are your age. I would describe the Big Local as helpful and open-minded and willing to show you a better way on how you see work, the world. My earliest memory of the Big Local is I remember straight away I had to organise a two-day event and I only had a, roughly about five, six days to organise it. It was quite overwhelming, as you can imagine, and nothing was organised, uh, no advertising, and I think with the great support from, from Alan Frazier, uh, he really helped me um, sort of organise this, and we ended up having a, a fantastic two-day function, engaging around about 300 residents over the period of two days. So it's really good to see the support from the community, and straight away, I felt at home. My earliest memory of the Big Local is not an event, it's um, Taz standing in the dining hall. Um, he was giving out leaflets and asking for our emails and went, come volunteering. And that's kind of the start of my volunteering journey. We as a group, we were in Brabazon and we were planning our event and we all as together, we were just making strategies and just planning everything as a group. So we just all got together and we planned our first event, which was the Cranford Fun Day. Cranford Fun Day, it's, it's always going to be that because that was um, my first event and I feel like I had full responsibility with that. We went shopping to go get the suppliers and honestly we didn't know what we were doing but we as a team made an event ourselves and I was very proud of it. That was the first activity that I ever like did and it actually like helped plan out and it gave me like insight like what volunteering is actually like because I had this perception on like volunteering is boring, you just do it for the sake of it. And 2016, I made Taz, and then we, he helped me to do volunteering a lot. My earliest memory has got to be walking into film club, and there was like one person sitting there, and I was like, what have I got myself into? Like, I'd never done anything like this before, and I just walked in, and there was one person, I'm like, there's no one else here, what am I going to do? And, but then I stayed, and ever since then, it's been so much fun. I uh, basically playing football, and then uh, this man named Taz approached me, and then he asked me if I wanted to join this football club that he was making. Uh, I said yes. And then uh, I, when I approached the first session, it was like, like a family friendly and they're all friendly to me. It's kind of a sense of belonging within a community. It's kind of like like-minded people with like different ages, but it doesn't feel like everyone's a different age. It just feels like everyone's 
there together. I chose to get involved because this was a really interesting opportunity for me to do something a bit bigger than I previously had done. Thank you for coming this evening to attend our Heston West Big Local Diwali and Christmas Awards celebration. It's a mouthful, but are we excited? Yeah! Fantastic! I chose to get involved with Big Local because there's nothing at home to do really. All I do at home is just look after my sisters, which can be really annoying. Honestly, to put something on my CV because nowadays it's so competitive and so I thought I need that extra thing, but then once I joined, it's just been a roller coaster ride. Who said we can't? I chose to get involved so I could help the community, help other people. I chose to get involved because I wanted to know people in my local community. So, hi guys. Today I am joined by Reese, and we're also going to be doing the donut challenge. Basically, we need to try and eat a donut without licking our lips. I've lived in this area a long, long while, so it's a case of uh, trying to get it back to what it used to be like, as opposed to what it's like today. Well, I'd, I'd like to see the community get involved, so we get them, so we get make make people proud of the area where they live. I'm sure with all the big local and all of our hard work, it has changed because more and more people are engaging with our projects, which is very good outcome and positive. My involvement has uh, come through a voluntary organisation called Heston Action Group. Uh, we're a, a local people who decided to uh, do something positive to help clean and green the immediate environment and through that we have uh, made uh, links with Heston West Big Local and to try and uh, bring our community together to uh, uh, change uh, the attitude of people in the area uh, to have more civic pride. Well I think we have a high visibility I think has an action group and, and the big uh, local the more we get involved the more we see in the street doing things the more people see us the more people then they know that somebody cares and people who may have lost hope in in the street because they seem that nobody cares if they see that there are people caring then they will start caring and thinking, ah, oh, if somebody cares, I care too. I chose to get involved because, like, to help out other people and um, help the community. I chose to get involved with the Big Local because I needed to as part of my Duke of Edinburgh, but I just enjoyed it so much that I stayed on when I didn't need to. And now I've been doing it for two and a half years when I only needed to do it for six months. I want to help lots of people in volunteering. Um, some people I don't know, but Every people I know very good. I get something out of it and I'm giving something back at the same time. It's always been fruitful, so I guess that's kind of why I'm always returning. I've taken part in many family events. I've taken part in making short films. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? In the summer school, we have loads and loads of kids where we focus on their physical and mental health. We run drama, cooking and art workshops. Um, and this year we had loads of little themes to do with their health. So things like love, things like taking care of your body, fresh air, just basic health. It's really nice getting involved with people from different ages and the races, different backgrounds. It's really nice because you see a different perspective and outlook. So someone who's a lot older attending the events seeing what motivates them compared to you, seeing what they enjoy. It's really nice. I've been a part of many activities, many events, such as like our trip to Parliament, where we you know talked about um, kind of like important issues to us, especially to do with young people. All right guys, so we've arrived at Parliament and we're just waiting to go in and this is so weird, it's so weird. <laughs> oh, it's actually... That was actually quite fun. We were sort of discussing different opinions that we had about things, if we had our own political party as well. And that was quite interesting, seeing the views that uh, people had on the current state of how the country is and how they change it. I have taken part in a variety of activities such as Queen's Birthday, 
the Romeo and Juliet performance which I was in. Just a word, make your own punch. Don't provoke me, no I'm well capable of that. Makusha, what have you been plotting with Romeo? A Romeo and Juliet performance was a really good, good experience that we did in the summer and it was an outdoor play. I was Lady Capulet, that was my role and it was a modern day twist on the play of Romeo and Juliet and we all had our own input on the characters it's not like we were given a role and we had to do it. We were able to have our own input on that character and that's what I really liked about it as well. I've taken part in many activities such as the Halloween event where we watched a few movies and I also went to the Christmas party. I was so impressed. I enjoyed how my friend Rooney played. Under quite a lot of pressure, um, performing like to quite high people like Seema Malhotra, and it, overall, I did quite well. Most of our activities are focused on like bringing families and communities together. But uh, in the summer, we recently took part in like a research project to find out more about the local area and find out why people aren't getting involved because. At a lot of the events, it seems like the same people turn up all the time. So we're trying to kind of reverse that and get more people involved. A lot of people said that they don't get involved because they don't really have the time. So we're trying to work around that and make things more flexible for people. My favourite activity would have to be the film club. For me personally, I think it's the, it, it, it's the session that really binds the big local together. It really also helped us engage, uh, not just with young people, but people of all ages, and it showcases all the things that we have done. So for me, really, I see the film club as the main hub of the um, Big Local. Like my favourite thing about going to the Big Local so far has been making my own films, just writing my own thing, and it's obviously challenging. Being able to make a film is the most fun thing for me, and I can do that here. One of my favourite events was going out and doing presenting in the Goan Festival. Well, I was really nervous at first because I had never really done the sort of asking questions sort of thing. Uh, so I felt nervous, but then as I got into it more, I sort of eased, uh, eased into it. They were kind of surprised that I was still, I guess, a presenter in the making. But later on, I feel they couldn't really tell the difference between a professional and me. My favourite one has probably got to be on Valentine's Day when we had a clean-up day and we just kind of went out, picked up litter and we went around to people's houses and gave them roses and just seeing like the smiles on their faces and like, you know, people who don't usually we interact with, we don't normally interact with them and like just seeing them like, you know, smile up and light up, people invited us in for tea and coffee. To be honest, I think my most favourite activity that I'd done was probably me teaching. Um, over the summer holidays I was teaching photography. My favourite activity was the Cramper Fun Day because it was the first time I met Blaze. Today's all about fun, confidence and like trying to meet new people, how they engage and stuff like that. Today I've been working in the arts and crafts area of this project, I guess. We've been doing painting, lots of stuff with glitter, making characters, face masks and stuff like that. I think everyone was generally really happy and especially parents. Parents were just pleased to like, get their kids involved in some arts and crafts. Last year I had a community hero award which was a big achievement. I was uh, overwhelming and I felt really very good within myself because when you are working all the time you don't realize what are you doing how much effort you are putting you just work 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 when you see the achievement you really value yourself my birthday was a surprise um everyone threw me a surprise birthday party um there my family and stop I'm getting emotional <laughs> um yeah um yeah they threw me a surprise birthday party and we ate cake, they made cake for me, the kids made cake, and everyone was just there, and I was really happy. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you.
To date, we have engaged with over 1,400 residents. We have around 35 active youth action members, have delivered 70 activities, ran over 50 community events, small and big. Together, we've collected over 90 bags of rubbish and have racked up over 1,500 voluntary hours. At the moment, uh, for the Big Local, we're working on developing our legacy and it's been on the, on the cards now for at least nearly a year and what's really interesting is that we've engaged the, uh, our youth action team as well as our committee and the other people as well to really figure out what is the next step for the Heston West Big Local and for us, I feel now we've got that and I'm happy to announce that will be an organisation sort of setting up called, potentially called ARCH. And, and this organisation will aim to uh, engage people within the arts, uh, reaching out into communities um, and also um, to improve health and wellbeing and happiness. So we now found our sort of core, core aim for our legacy and now we're working towards sort of building that. So today I arrived for my intergenerational uh, sewing club. Um, me and Sharon lead this club and it's just about um, getting people in the community to come to the school and just talk about their stories with fashion and gain skills that they probably wouldn't have learned maybe at home because you have the chance to go on the sewing machine and be with professionals like Sharon Jit so it's really nice and for me personally um, I'm going into fashion so it's a great way for me to um, get first-hand experience on stuff like this. At the moment we're working on like mental health as well because we just got a grant of a thousand pounds a youth action team so we need to do more work on mental health. We've already established that but it's just more planning now and actually getting things out there. I've been to multiple legacy meetings where we're kind of focusing on the future of volunteering and how we can get it to expand in the community and I'm working on a podcast with my friend Harpreet and right now we're still working on it but it's focused on teenagers and the problems we face and we're hoping to reach out to them and be relatable. We run a bingo club, a friendly, very friendly, we all get on very well together and we enjoy it don't we every Monday mm. and now we've got the lottery fund we can have transport so it pays for that and we're picked up at our home doors, bought here, then taken home. And there's also a lady not here today in a wheelchair. She had to stop coming because she just couldn't get here. So as soon as we got the lottery fund, she rejoined us and she loves it. She's 92 and this is her only out and she pushes her the wheelchair. She's 91. God bless. We, we all make an effort. We, we all well, we all look nice, don't mm -hmm. we? All well turned out. <laughs> and it's so friendly here. If there's anyone got any problems, we can sort that out. Or if anyone has a lovely weekend, we like to hear about it. Also, it helps us, well, it helps me, because I've got Alzheimer's beginning of it, and it okay. helps me to come and do the calling, because right. it keeps your brain going. 85. 5050. What the big local allows you to do, everybody involved, it, it, it almost it pushes you and it drives you. And because it's such a safe, friendly, warming environment, I think naturally you feel like you can grow within that. Because I know by getting involved, even by the smallest thing, even taking the first step into the room, um, automatically you, have, you are growing. It's built the confidence of people like mine and it's made people want to come to all these activities because they've seen what the big, big local has done to help the community. So to get um, younger people involved, it's so beneficial. Yeah, it's volunteering and giving up your time, but you as an individual would grow so much. There's so many things that you probably haven't even discovered that you will discover and you'll be like, oh, I really like this. And this is, it just helps you as an individual on your path, perhaps. My confidence has like increased massively because I used to be this kind of like shy little girl who didn't do anything. And now I'm just like this outgoing social butterfly. Um, has must Big Local has definitely made me more confident as a person and shown me a different side of me that I didn't know it was before. For example, before I was like, quite shy, I didn't really talk to anyone. I have changed by the way I act and, or act around people. Hi 
everyone, my name's Callum and I'd like to introduce about the dolly and the tripod. I have changed a lot as a person. Um, when I, I remember when I first came, I was very quiet and shy and I, I would never have the confidence to do this, but now I think I've, I've done so many things that I never thought I would have done. Taking part has helped me to get more active. Earlier I was lazier, but then once I joined Big Local, I got more active. I went to um, a media class in college, two years. It didn't help over here. I've been learning what I've wanted to learn. As a result of taking part in the Big Local, I'm not as socially awkward as I used to be. That's a good thing. As well as that, I'm also, I'm a lot more open to new ideas. I guess I would say that I have been more confident, more active recently. I never really knew about cameras and filmmaking, so that's really helped me a lot as well. Since I've joined, I've been more active and, and enthusiastic. My volunteering experience has definitely given me more confidence. I don't know if I would have been able to do this two and a half years ago. I don't think I would have wanted to and um, it's enabled me to meet more people in my community. I didn't know like a lot of people that lived in the area. The thing that I enjoy most is the amount of kinesthetic and practical learning style and we get to do a lot more actually using the camera rather than just like learning all the theory and lessons in school like we just analyse and write essays and comment about films. We actually make our own films which is like a step ahead of everyone else. I feel like I'm a different person entirely. It's given me confidence, um, it's given me a place to be myself and I'm very annoying so I'm glad everyone's dealt with me. Um, I've learned how to be organised, I've learned how to have responsibility, deal with pressure, just all these things and I'm just glad that I've started volunteering because it's really made me who I am. The main outcomes of my volunteering is uh, really helped out in multi-sports. I think that I'm starting to really become a coach in more sports. Self-esteem and stuff, I feel like I got that here. Mm -hmm. Kind of meeting different people and having to get along with people. But now I feel like I'm a lot more open-minded to things around me and to kind of like people around me. Got like a higher tolerance of just everything. The changes I think that the big local have brought into the local area is a sense of pride. Uh, also, an encouragement uh, of, of residents to see that people really do care about the area that they're in. Also, I think the schools working in partnership, for example, Cranford Community College and Barclay, um, have also added um, some extra oomph, I should say, into the big local, because this has enabled young people and students to really feel part of the, their community. The, you know, if you look at the local area, when we've done a clean up, it, it's incredibly clean and um, I'm very proud of everybody that takes part in um, projects that helped um, clean up the environment. Um, the local people um, are, and the local um, young people as well. We've just created kind of like this little community and this kind of little family within, you know, our area. And it's just like, it's really happy and safe and, you know, every, there's activities for everyone and we just all kind of you know, have a good time. I mean, people go out a lot more, it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot greener. You don't really see that many uh, teenagers hanging, hanging around the streets these days because most of them are involved in our activities. Uh, so it's glad to see that we've got the local residents engaged. The area has definitely changed drastically, um, especially with our big clean-up days. We've been able to go around each um, areas around Heston and and clean up and make a better change for where you know for where we live because you know a lot of us like the kids we're going to be here for a long time so you might as well start making a change now clean up day it's brought the environment more better and um the travelers barbecue i think it's brought more people to come so like people from different countries they've come over here and have like a chat with other people like i feel like the community now is something that i'm genuinely proud of i'm proud to be here. Um, I feel like everyone's just a small family now. I see so many new faces at events, so many new people that want to join and I'm hoping that in the future they're all volunteers or have been at some point. Beforehand the area was quite was quite closed and nobody really knew anyone but as soon as the big local kind of came everyone was kind of getting to know each other and we're a really strong community now. I think the big local has made the local area more tidy, more friendly as well. It's given me the opportunity to meet more people. It's given other people in the community the opportunity to meet each other.
as well. What we hope to achieve uh, for the future working on big local activities is to enable people, could be young people or other residents, to start taking ownership of activities. So it's almost sustainable in that sense. Because like any activity, what I love to see and what really makes me happy is seeing someone who come in as a participant and then slowly but surely becomes confident enough to lead in that activity and also to then help find additional funding support to continue the activity. So for me, I think all, all activities, seeing that uh, almost like a nice roller coaster ride um, from success in terms of someone coming in, gaining the confidence, feeling much proud and, and happiness of being part of something and then taking the encouragement and support to then become a leader mm -hmm. is probably the most fulfilling thing about the big local. Why is youth leadership so important in making young people successful? Um, I think possibly you guys could answer that question much better <laughs> than I could or, or Taz. Yeah. I mean, what have you experienced through being leaders in your, your community young people, as young people? Well, it sort of, you know, boosts my confidence and it gives me something to do and I feel like I'm actually making a difference and I'm, you know, doing something that's actually helping instead of, you know, sitting at home on the sofa watching TV. Yes. So, and I just feel really good about it. It makes you feel better about yeah. yourself. Yes. Yeah. Being at the big local, the experience I've had is it's made me boost my confidence. Like when I interviewed Maria Pedro and it was like, opening my eyes like really opens because when I interviewed her I didn't really know it was my first ever interview with the Queen's representative and I was really confused at first but it went really well so it actually helps boost me. I hope to create like a community as I've said you know where everyone gets involved you know we have a happy safe environment and people are just you know they come out and visit each other instead of sitting at home on their phones and you know just having like I'm almost like a massive social club in a way. To be honest, I, my, one of my main goals is to actually be employed by a big local. Uh, I have a part-time or full-time photographer. Me hoping to achieve in the big local is me becoming a committee member. I hope to help people who need help and um, just enjoy myself. In the future, I hope to hopefully be able to run my own club, be able to get involved more. Even though I am quite involved, I feel like I could be doing more. I hope that more people will volunteer. I hope to achieve um, to like make new friends with other people that I don't know. In the future, I think we would definitely like to spread out and not just be part of like Heston West, but expand into the other local areas as well. I need to be more respect, more kind, and more more happiness. But I don't like to get sad. And I was, if some people say to me like, "You think I want to be kind?" I just want everyone to be proud of their community just the way I am. I want them to be okay with their local area, be happy, feel safe, because I feel safe. I want to make a football team, because I'm really into football and that. Uh, and I want to make a football team with local lads from their state, and people from outside their state. I feel my involvement has given people the opportunity to feel that they can come as well. So seeing someone my age, instead of just going out with your friends you you can come and you can help and you can make your community better if i ask a friend or a family member to get involved with the big local one of the first things i would say is just just give it a go just try it. i know i know a lot of barriers that people have it could be confidence it could be lack of timing it could be family issues it could be exam stress it could be a host of things but like anything in life you have to give it a go Okay, volunteering, it sounds like it's going to be boring. Honestly, it's not. Come and just like try it. You'll have so much fun. It's probably one of the best things I've done in my life. And, you know, it's changed me so much as a person. So come along. That's all you need to do. I would say to ma family members and friends to come and have a look what's happening in our Heston West Big Local. Uh, come join because it helps, it helps others. And it, it's also a really fun thing to take part in. It makes you a far more confident person. Um, it gives you skills to be able to speak to people. Um, we've learned a lot of things like um, fundraising, bidding. Um, there's all sorts of projects that um, I've been involved in with that I would never have done before. So, um, and sometimes you're taken out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, sometimes you have to um, think, well, um, this is 
about me learning something new. The older I've got, the more things that I want to learn and, um, and I've really enjoyed um, engaging with the young people as well. I would say that the activities are really fun, you should definitely get involved, they're really good for you and you just feel amazing after doing them. To get my family members or friends to join in, I think I would just have to show them the progress that I've made because, you know, obviously they've known me for the last two and a half years since I've been volunteering. They can see the change in me, they could see the skills that I've gained, so I would just encourage them, you know, say that you can do the same thing. I guess seeing people's journey, I guess that inspires me, so like, when I'm feeling like really, like, I have no motivation whatsoever, I just kind of look at kind of how far things have come and how far we've still got to go. It makes a difference and it opens people's eyes. I would say get up off your sofa, come join us because we're fun. You learn so many things, you get so many opportunities and I don't think you could get them just sitting at home. I always call the local volunteers God's angels and I really believe that um, you're truly special and if, if, if it wasn't for you, um, we couldn't do half the projects that um, we do at the moment. So a big thank you to all our volunteers in Heston. I'd like to thank Heston Big Local for giving me my football shoes. They actually bought me two football shoes that enabled me to play trials, uh, even go to Concord, stuff like that. So that's going to really help me in my steps to become a footballer. Mm. A big thank you to everyone that puts together the Big Local. Thank you for making me part of this huge family. Thank you to my volunteers, my fellow volunteers, for making me feel so safe and happy and letting me have so much fun with them at events. And thank you for me as well for coming and joining the Heston West Big Local. And thank you, Taz, for starting the Big Local and spreading happiness around the community. Thank you, Big Local, for accepting me and uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. Thank you to all you little people involved in the House of Asperger's Local. Keep going, you're doing amazing! It's been a very positive experience getting to know people in the big local and we're hoping that uh, Heston Action Group and uh, Big Local can continue to work together more closely in the future. Thank you Big Local for having me and um, best of luck. I would like to thank Taz and all my friends I'd like to finish with a thank you to the staff and participants. Of course, I'd like to say thank you to Taz and Rachel and Blaze and Roseanne for the support and the encouragement. Thank you, Taz. Thank you, Blaze. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Debbie. Um, I'm thankful for Hester West Big Local for giving me um, a large opportunity on having a job here for doing the research project. I'd like to say a big thank you to Taz for giving me this experience because it's really like built on me as a person. A massive, massive thank you to everyone that's always been here at Big Local, especially to Taz for allowing me to do such an amazing project that will definitely help me in the future and everyone that always attends. Thank you everyone for getting involved in, in participating in taking civic pride. I thank everybody in, in, um, in their involvement with other people, all ages, all backgrounds. And from top seniors to all the everybody, I would love to say thank you to all of them. They've been working tremendously hard. I can see them running around, making everything positive. Thank you to yourself and Blaze for filmmaking and teaching me about different filmmaking stuff. And thank you, Taz, for letting me take part in High School Big Local. I just want to say a big thank you to all those that have contributed to the Big Local from day one to present day. Without your support, without your passion, without your love and commitment and dedication for the Big Local, we will not be here today. Everyone here today in this room and beyond have done amazing. And without you, without your family, your friends, even without your pets, we will not be where we are. Hestworth Big Local is all about people. People are the community. So on behalf of the Heston West Big Local, for myself, thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Taz and the Big Local. You can tell we're not used to filming, can't you? We would like to thank all our friends, family, supporters and delivery partners, business and all members of our community who have contributed to our story and success. Big thanks to our funders, Local Trust, Make a Difference Entertainment, MADE, our amazing dedicated volunteers, fantastic participants and brilliant committee members. Without your support, dedication and commitment, we wouldn't have achieved so much. Thank you all. We're truly bringing it all together.
We're always on the lookout for new members, so if you'd like to make films with a difference, visit the Heston West Big Local website and book online.